Hello, I'm Keith Hall from Caravan World and one of my pet interests in life is vintage caravans like this little beauty here. Uh, this is a 1967 modern caravan, uh, aluminium, and I found it very interesting so I came along to talk to its owner. Uh, this is Mr Brian Noble who owns the caravan. Oh, how are you? And he's going to tell us a little bit about it. So, first of all, I mean, how did you find this? Uh, Ad in the local rag. Um, somebody was using it as a spare room. Um, I've been hunting for a while. We've actually had a fiberglass caravan and I wanted a smaller one um, that would fit behind a smaller car. And uh, went round, had a look at it, and the outside was still in reasonably good nick. The inside looked terrible, uh, as some of the older ones do, but it, it, didn't see, it didn't seem to be damp or anything, but it had been under a carport. So uh, we acquired it, brought it home, and uh, I think it was about six months later, it was back on the road, um, rebuilt. And you said it's a small one. Uh, what length uh, is it? Well, for us old people, it's nine foot. For the newer generation, it's 2.7 uh, by 1.6 wide, so it's almost a square box on wheels. And it's aluminium. Yep. Um, and I know there's the, the three favourite materials for yeah, old caravans yep. of aluminium, wood yep. and, and fiberglass. Yep. And it's a never ending topic of debate which one is the best and why. So why did you pick aluminium for this one when you bought this one? Uh, because it was available. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, that's, probably, that's probably the main reason people go for different things. But it, it was a small van, it was a light van and it was something I could work on for the, it being basically my first van, my fiberglass one, that was I bought that, uh, that was a nice van, um, but it was fairly heavy. I had a, a Chevy pickup which I had behind the pickup and it was even, even more of the V8 and it, it was struggling to pull it. Uh, that's why I went for the lighter van. So Brian, I love your tow car, what is it? Uh, 1930 uh, A-model sedan. Um, a bridge body, I, I believe. Um, I acquired this from a gentleman in Melbourne. Um, I've been looking for a hot rod for ages. I was in the process of building one uh, when we moved to the, where we are on the acres, but I ended up having to build a big shed and uh, unfortunately the project got, got sold. And uh, once I've sort of finished the shed, we, this car, uh, we, we had a Chevy pickup. I sold the Chevy pickup to basically buy this. And, uh, once it came on the market, it didn't last very long because I jumped on the aeroplane and buzzed over and picked it up. Um, it's got a little uh, wind, Ford Windsor in it, Jag diff, uh, I-beam front axle, which is a um, bit heavy on the steering, it's sort of Armstrong steering, so at least you still know you're driving an old car. Um, not bad on fuel, uh, with the van, even with the van behind it, it wasn't too bad. Um, it's, been a reliable motor car. Uh, we've gone three three goes away around Australia in it, so it hasn't missed a beat. Touch wood. Yeah. Brian, this is a very compact little van. What what, yeah. do, what do you like about it? Well, basically the single beds. Um, the layout's very very functional. It, um, it's easy to maintain. Um, if you want to, you can actually drop the table down, spin the cushions around and, you let, and end up with a double bed, oh. either that or if you want to, you, you've got the two singles. Um, where the camera's actually sitting, which you, you'll see photos of, uh, just a small front kitchen, um, it's got a wardrobe over there. It's just very, very functional.
So, Brian, this is a very compact little van. What, what, yeah. do, what do you like about it? Well, basically the single beds. Um, the layout's very, very functional. It, um, it's easy to maintain. Um, if you want to, you can actually drop the table down, spin the cushions around your and end up with the double bed, oh, yeah. either that or if you want to, you, you've got the two singles. Um, where the camera's actually sitting, which you, you'll see photos of, uh, just a small front kitchen. Um, it's got a wardrobe over there. It's just very, very functional. 